Good morning and welcome to One of Us, a writing course where we will focus on uh, becoming better writers, obviously, but uh, around the topics of cults, secret societies, and multi-level marketing schemes, how they can all kind of blend into one little melange of scammery and connery and crime. So if you're interested in any of these things, I think that you'll really enjoy the readings for our course. Um, my name is Margaret France. You can call me Margaret or Dr. France. Uh, I got my PhD in um, 2010 at the University of California, Davis. And since then I've taught in um, such uh, glamorous places as Turkey, Bordeaux, France, and uh, Rock Island, Illinois. So yes, I'm delighted to be here in um, Yakima. I grew up here. I graduated from Davis High School in 1994. Ask your parents. Um, so I know what you are most interested in about this course is, what do I have to do to be a success? What do I have to do? I'm going to give you the keys. First thing you can do, make sure you have these books. The syllabus is on our Canvas site. It lists the ISBNs for these books. I've also sent out an email with the ISBNs. This book about Scientology, it's a little thick. It's delicious, you're gonna love it. This book is gonna be your new bathroom reader. Seriously, all of our lives would be so much better if we didn't take our phones into the bathroom. And if you're not gonna have your phone in the bathroom, you need something to read. This book, which is a little dated now, it's from 2009, is called Cults, Conspiracies, and Secret Societies. We're going to be focused on the cults and secret societies section. Feel free to peruse the conspiracies, but goodness knows, we've had a lot of conspiracies lately. Maybe it's not time to gather some more. Maybe you're a collector now. Who can say? Both of these books, very widely available. And finally, Who's Your Source, which will take you through how to responsibly use other people's writing. And um, this is one of my favorite writing books that I've ever, ever had. And, um, and it is also widely available, but it just came out in 2020. Um, and it was, it's actually written by a couple of friends of mine. Not log rolling, it's actually a good book. I love my friends, but I don't love them enough to make my students buy their books if they're not good. This is good. Again, ISBNs, all available through the YVC bookstore, through the email I sent you, through the syllabus that you should read that is available under the file section on our canvas. Great, so first key to success, being prepared, having the books. This stack right here, you can nail it down under 60 bucks, which for a college course, pretty good, pretty good. All right, now you have the books, you wanna do the work. What does the work look like for this course? Oh, the work that you're going to be doing most often is going to be in discussion. And your discussion posts are really important because they give you consistent practice writing. That's the way you become a better writer. There's no other way to do it. You have to write. They give you consistent practice reading, analyzing texts and reading each other's posts. Also, they give you a chance to be part of a community being part of a community motivates you, makes you feel like you're working with other people, even though we spent a lot of time alone in our homes. I mean, look at, look at this curly mullet. I've spent a lot of time alone in my home, okay? Um, so the way that discussion posts work is um, you write between 200 and 300 words, and Canvas is really helpful with this. They will tell you how many words your post is. So if you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I just can't find any more to say about this thing. Dig back in, ask yourself, why am I not responding? Look at your fellow students' posts, ask them questions. See if you can find your own personal response to the material or why you don't have a personal response to the material. 200, 300 words, it's actually not a lot, and it gets easier and easier the more you work. I just finished a book on Bob's Burgers, 75,000 words long. That's how much I had to say about a cartoon. You will find it. You will find it. I believe in each and every one of you. The way that discussion posts are graded 
if your discussion post meets the word limit, shows that you've been working uh, and engaged with material, I will probably, if it's, if it's solid, I will probably give it nine points. It's on a 10 point scale, so I'll give it nine points, which is 90% A minus. Good job. Um, if your post is excellent, like really interrogating what's going on, really analyzing it, really bringing the material into your own life, whew, and, and you have really insightful comments on your fellow students' posts, goodness no, just, I might have to give that, I, I, I might have to give that a 10. That might have to be a perfect 10. That's like a Greg Louganis, Mary Lou Retton level post. If it fails to meet the length requirement, if it's not really talking about the material, if I look at that post and I'm like, I can't even tell if you read the thing or just read what other people said about the thing, whew. you know, if it's, if it's a little bit short, maybe an eight, if it shows very little integration with material, if it shows very little um, effort to analyze or ask questions about the material, why we might be talking about a seven or a six. Okay, and you have tons of discussion posts. So if one discussion post, like if you've, if you've been really nailing it and getting tens and then you get a nine, you're like, oh no, no, I'm gonna fail. You're not gonna fail the class. You're just fine, you're just fine. Um, and I really encourage you to get those in on time because as a community, if we're all doing the same work at the same time, it gives us something to talk about. You get to engage in real time with fellow students. Well, not exactly in real time, but you get what I'm saying. Um, then great. I also understand that many of you have lives outside of school, perhaps children or parents or siblings that you have to watch. Many people have been profoundly affected by COVID-19 in ways that impact their ability to do their schoolwork on time. And um, I'm a human person. Uh, I understand the lives of other human people and please, don't think to yourself, oh, I missed that deadline, so I should just forget about that assignment. No, 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 no. Key to success in the course, stay with it. Stay with it even if you've missed that deadline because doing the post, even late, will still help you as you prepare for the papers, which count for more, and as you integrate with our community. So... If the discussion post deadline is kind of flexible, what deadlines in this course are not flexible? That's a super question. Thank you for asking. Workshop deadlines are not flexible. Workshop deadlines are not flexible. Workshop deadlines are the uh, deadline that comes a week before a paper is due. You have a draft deadline. And Canvas is the one that assigns the peer readers for your draft. If you miss that deadline, there's nothing I can do. I can't, I, can't, I can't throw you into the system late. You have to be in the system at the time to get assigned to other students, have those students read their drafts, read other students' drafts. And honestly, one of the things that is most useful about the workshop process that I don't think gets enough credit is not just that you benefit from getting the comments of your peers, but you actually benefit from reading their work because you're all trying to solve the same problem and seeing how someone else is solving the problem that you're trying to solve helps you come up with new ideas for how you can solve it yourself. So workshop deadlines, absolutely make the workshop deadlines. Circle them in red on your calendar if you have a calendar. Many of us don't have calendars, but you should just so you can circle that workshop deadline in red, hard deadline. Every other deadline for this course is something that you can negotiate with me if for whatever reason you can't meet it. Um, the other thing that I think is really important to know up front at the beginning of this course is how I want to communicate with you and how I'm comfortable with you communicating with me. On the syllabus and in a lot of my communication, like almost all of my communication, has my personal cellular phone number in it. Why, why would I be so ready to give out my personal cellular phone number? Because I want to be in touch with you. Uh, email is great, obviously. Um, 
you can also message me through the Canvas system, but if you have a quick question, you can send me a text. And every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning between the hours of 10 and noon, I'm just sitting there by my phone waiting, wait, waiting for, for students to call me and talk to me about the course. Just waiting, just... And those aren't the only times that I'm available to you. I'm happy to set up uh, times to talk over Zoom. I'm, I'm very comfortable with, with Zoom calls and things like that. Um, and I'm willing to work with you. I know some of you aren't free during the day. And so I'm willing to set up times outside of sort of traditional student hours. But uh, I just want you to know that this this is what I do, not because I, um, not, not, not because I'm, I'm bored, not because I wanted my summers off. I do this because I love watching people become better, more skilled thinkers, communicators, writers, and I also only teach material that I think is super interesting and fun to talk about. So, you know, if all you want is like somebody to talk about, um, you know, why L. Ron Hubbard promoted this 19 year old girl to being in charge of a ship and then she made the old people punish the old people by uh, making them drag their tongues across the deck. How was this, how is this good for Scientology? If you want to talk about that, oh my gosh, I have time. I have time for you. So welcome to our class. Uh, we're going to get to know each other pretty well this term because um, it's, it's the kind of subject matter that, that really allows us to, um, to, to open up and talk about the things that matter to us. Um, so, you know, uh, I don't think of my class as a cult, but um, if, it, if it was, it would be, I think, a warm and inviting cult. Um, and uh, if, if you want to join, wait, please do. Um, I'll be posting more videos with more specific instructions on assignments and uh, to talk about the reading, things like that. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, questions, again, email me or look at my emails, get my phone number from there, and call or text. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Welcome to our class. Oh, also, my pronouns are she, her. And I like to be called Margaret or Dr. France. Please don't call me Mrs. France. It makes me feel kind of icky. All right, y'all. So great to meet you. Have a super day.